Welcome back, Prefam. It has been a crazy day with getting the Canon install officially started. So you can see we've got it in place. Um, there's a top that goes here that is right there that has a bunch of magnets that hold it down. He's got to redo a bunch of the magnet stuff. I'm not really sure. We did get the power hooked up. So I had two 110 outlets here, two 110 outlets over there. We sacrificed those two 110s, moved the wiring over here so that I now have the two 220 outlets that I need to run this guy. Basically the same wiring that you need to run the 335 HP or the 365 HP. So not terrible, but we gotta get some other power done. We also replaced the breaker panel so that we could fit everything. So um, not much really to report other than we're missing a bunch of things. We're missing some ink, we're missing I don't know what else, but we're missing things. So more stuff is coming tomorrow. Hopefully he's thinking, he is thinking that we'll be able to have install kind of wrapped up um, tomorrow and do training Friday. So hopefully that's enough time because initially I thought it would be all wrapped up today and training Thursday, Friday. But let me walk around the machine, show you what we got right now. So we got the, the gantry, the head, power switch, power cable. There's a PC or a workstation built in right here that comes up to a monitor. This is actually gonna be up against the wall because I don't want it out in the middle of nowhere. The PC is right in there. We've got four inks here, black, cyan, magenta, and yellow. It is a five zone vacuum. So you can turn the vacuums off. You can actually see the ports right here. I'm not sure how the zoning works, but. And then my machine is double white, but I'm probably gonna swap one of the whites for a clear. So that's what we got on this side. Nothing on this side. And then you've got the main print component. All the, there are six heads, they're all there. A UV lamp here, UV lamp here. This is a mercury based UV lamp system, so it's not LED. This is a used machine because that's all I could afford. So, but it should do the job. Got the vacuum right down there. And I guess auxiliary power ports. I don't know. So, that's day one. Let's get on to day two. Day two is over. We tested the print heads, replaced the white and black, or one of the whites, and then tested a print test, but there's still an alignment issue that we're gonna resolve tomorrow. So let me show you what's up. So this is the workstation. When you do something in Onyx, it then comes here. From here, you can turn the heat on for the inks because they have to be warm. You can turn the UV lamp on the vacuum bed as long as the ink is heated up then if you send a job to print and push start then it will turn the lamps and the vacuum on for you my hope is to move this thing over here so that it's out of the way and i can leave this kind of open for walking we do have all the inks now so we've got black cyan magenta yellow and double white um, like i said we did replace black so this black was re replaced which it's this both sides there's an a and b to each head and then this white was replaced the others like you can see here it was bad cleaning it was bad cleaning still bad this is acceptable plus he said it's jumping around so he said it's likely air bubbles so but we printed the onyx test print and it looks good other than you can tell that the black is misregistered because it's double printing um, so he's gonna fix that tomorrow um, let's show you all the sides are still the same I think there's covers that go on them 
we've got six print heads so we've got white white cyan oh no white white black cyan magenta yellow and there's two empty spots my printer does not have those i think it's just higher models have that for faster printing so it is um down all the way and there's a drawer here that pulls out to do maintenance but other than that everything kind of looks the same tomorrow we're going to go over the rest of the printing and do some testing and learn how to use onyx so we'll figure out onyx we're going to actually hook up the hp and the suma to onyx so i'll just use one rip so i will no longer use flexi I'll still keep it around just in case, um, but I should be able to just completely switch to Flexi to do all this stuff. So let's jump to tomorrow. Well, Profam, it's all installed. It's been a few days and I didn't do the recap video or the, the final walk around. So let me do that right now. So we've got the bed all corrected. All the magnets underneath have been fixed. And then there's a program that allows you to print this registration ruler. I came in and taped down a couple of business cards on it. I'll probably tape a few more that way and a few more this way so that it's just quick and easy to set something right in the corner. Um, they forgot to put a panel on and I'm not sure where it goes, but everything else is connected working I had them run all the cables and stuff over here so the computer could be out of the way so that this area is gonna kind of be the work area where board and stuff will be stacked maybe a table or two um, to get it done so the only other issue that we're having is the machine is overheating um, with the UV lamps so I'm supposed to get some new lamps tomorrow and then I'll try testing a full bed, and as long as that works, we're ready to go and rock and roll, doing big jobs. I've already got a hundred yard signs that I need to do double-sided, so hopefully that resolves that, that problem. But if not, I'll be printing them one at a time, because you can do little things, you just can't do a full bed. Which will suck time-wise, but you do what you gotta do. So, I'm excited to share more about this printer. If you do have questions, let me know down in the comments. Thank you, Cam, for reading the videos. If you guys want to support the channel, you can do so with the links down in the description. As always, print fam, we'll see you in the next one.